right, after a long wait, finally Samsung has opened up One UI 5.0 beta program in India. The beta program is already running in US, Germany and Korea and finally we have it in India and perhaps in few other countries as well. If you want a Galaxy S22, S22 Plus or S22 Ultra, you should be able to see a notification on Samsung Members app. All you need to do is open Samsung Members. On the top, you will see these banners. Just keep scrolling until you see One UI Beta Program banner. Just tap on that. Here you can see registrations for One UI Beta Program for S22 series. There are a few questions answered right there. If you'd like to know what is One UI Beta Program, how this works, you can go through all these questions and answers. Samsung recommends to back up your phone before you install One UI 5.0 Beta. Here you will see a banner again. It says join now. You just have to tap on the banner and tap on register or enroll. As soon as you do that, you can go to the settings, tap on software update, tap on download and install. You will be able to see the update right here. You can download it and install it on the phone. As you can see, the size here is about 3 GB. It's 2970.30 MB to be precise. It obviously will have the August 2022 security patch level. Now I've been waiting for this beta program to open up in India. I wanted to experience all the new features and share each and every feature with you guys. So finally, I'm excited to install the beta and check out all the new features that we have got on One UI 5.0 based on Android 13. Now, if you are new on the channel and if you'd like to know your phone better, and if you're interested in knowing all the new features that is coming with One UI 5.0, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There will be tons of contents coming on this particular iteration of One UI. So make sure you smash that subscribe button. Now, as far as the changelog goes, we have got loads of features mentioned here. It's a huge list. For some reason, this changelog is not very organized here. There are no pointers clearly mentioned, but I'm gonna quickly read it for you guys. And then in the upcoming videos, I will be posting all the new features that we have got with this all new iteration of One UI. Now, as you can see here, it says more options for your color palette, stack widget on your home screen, easily see who is calling, get only notifications you allow, easier access to app notification controls, choose which type of notification apps can send, stay on top of reminders, show and hide completed reminders, choose the right view for your reminders. So these three features are coming on the reminders application. Then we have got set a language for each application, Edit your lock screen wallpaper collection. Customize the spacebar row in Samsung keyboard, which seems to be interesting. Then we have improved sound and vibration settings. Then under productivity, we have got extract text from any image or screen, which is a very cool feature. Then we have get suggestions based on text in images. Do more with your connected devices. The connected devices menu has been added to settings, making it quicker and easier to access features that work with other devices. Switch your view with the gesture. Quick open apps in split screen more control over calendar event invitees, enhanced taskbar in Samsung DeX, which is cool. I will be making a separate video on that for sure. Then we have new notification indicator in DeX, mini calendar in DeX, better support for physical keyboard. So there are loads of improvements for Samsung DeX. Then we have more powerful search in my files, redesigned digital well-being. Then comes the Bixby routines. We have got some cool features added for Bixby routines as well. Then we have new emoji options, rearrange expression buttons in Samsung, under pictures and videos, there are some new features as well. Then we have quicker Bixby access, some new security and accessibility features as well. And there is a big list of additional changes also. Seems to be quite interesting. I will be making separate videos on these features. The upcoming video will have all the major features on One UI 5.0, which I'm going to showcase. And then we will make separate videos on each and every features that we have got on One UI 5.0. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, smash the like button if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Sally. I'm signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.